The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. I wasn't going to say anything, but it, it's a little toasty in here. Yes, isn't it, it is. Yes. Usually it's not, though. Well, good news is this next product claims to keep things cool for us men by increasing the airflow right down there. Yeah. Oh. But are these cool pair of underwear? Are they a buzz or a bust? So what am I talking about? Well, this is a company, a Japanese company, that designed underwear to help with airflow of your genitals. And I, I think the way it works is there's mesh on the underside, right, where the testicles hang. <laughs> and then Actually, you, that works. You, see that, <laughs> you see that little, that little area, that kind of makes the penis go up, so it separates the testicles from the oh, penis. Oh, the dark area. Wait, the, wait, wait, the wait, wait. The testicles live in the, the, testicles live in the dark wait, area. Wait. They're not meant to be separated. They come as a set. <laughs> I mean, we can talk about it some more, but I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna like this. I, I don't know. know. Let's bring in an expert. Urologist Dr. Aaron Spitz joins us via Skype. All right, Dr. Spitz. Hey, everybody. I'm just, uh, I mean, I'm just chilling, just chilling out here in my office. That's a good point. Do you really need to have to separate the meat from the potatoes? I agree with you. <laughs> They do come as a uh, as a set, uh, but there is something to be said about giving the boys some space because it can get uh, hot and sticky and and tight down there. And in a hot, sticky, dark, moist environment, yeast can grow and it can uh, be a cause for jock itch and yeast infections. And you know this design gives some space, gives some ventilation. Maybe they need to put some lighting down in there. Maybe some grow lamps. <laughs> No, just to just to really complete the trifecta, but that little sack down there—it's a nice idea to get some separation, some space. But the problem is, is that although most guys' testicles are about the same size, the scrotum really can vary quite a bit. And in some men, the uh, scrotum can be quite large due to some benign conditions, fluid around the testicles or cysts, things that don't require any operation or any treatment, but that would not be practical for a separate pouch like that. And then the other problem is that the size and uh, shape of the penis really varies a lot from guy to guy. In the erect state. And also from minute guys, to minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I guess you could say oh my gosh. That this is, these underwear are not one size fit always, right? Sometimes right. they fit. Might that make some guys a little sad if they're like, oh, mine is too big. Yeah. All right, so buzz or bust, Dr. Spitz. Well, I would say that the intentions are good, but these underwear are really a long run for a short slide. I'm gonna call them a bust. There you go.